What's going on gang? Bolt Matrix here and today we are taking a look at Machine Robo Blackbird Robo. Now if you're a US citizen and you don't really recognize this guy, that's because he never got released here. Or at least the original figure was never released. It was a UK edition figure only. He transforms, I'm sorry, converts into an SR-71 Blackbird, my favorite jet of all time. I've always wanted to get this figure, or the original GoBots figure, but I've never been willing to cough up the cash to actually pick it up. He was very expensive for a long, long time. Though I'm glad they've released this guy here in, well, in the new Machine Robo line, as I think this figure is excellent. That head sculpt is wonderful, and the overall aesthetic is blocky and just delicious. Blackbird Robo comes with two guns that are very, very similar. Here's the first gun, and uh, here's the second. They're exactly the same. Now, they attach to his fists really in an interesting manner. You want to slide them on with this bottom peg slid into the bottom of his fist first, and then the upper peg will just slide into the top of the fist like that. So you get this kind of trigger-happy-esque gun mode. See what I mean? He's got these dual-wielding guns that he could just point in multiple directions, and they just kind of slide over his fists. Very, very, very cool in my opinion. The conversion into jet mode is significantly simpler than I originally thought it was going to be. To start off with, just fold the fists down and then rotate them so that the these openings are pointing towards the front of the robot mode and then collapse the fists up along the elbows. Then reach around the back of the figure and fold the fuselage of the jet mode over the head and I will be honest, this really feels like you're going to break the figure. It really, really does. You won't, but things don't quite line up in the way you want them to. What's supposed to happen is this little opening at the back of Blackbird's head is supposed to be used as the kind of entry point for this little tab. And the whole chunk section will slide forward, or the whole fuselage section will slide forward a little bit. It feels really weird when you do it, but it does work. Then come down to the feet, simply fold the feet back up into the, in, into the heel section of the legs. Turn the fuselage, well, you don't have to do... Next, with these panels folded up, we'll actually just fold the legs, the bottom legs, up onto the thighs like it's going to be tucking up into a ball then take the wings or thrusters on the outside of the legs and fold them 180 degrees so that the fists will slide into the engine comp compartments like that and if you've got all the screw holes pointing up to the air or to the top of the plane mode you know you're doing it right Next, take the panels and just fold them down over the exposed legs, and that's it. That's the jet mode. It works really well. It looks really good. And I really wish Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire transformed in a nice, clean, similar way. Yeah, you do have some robot kibble on the bottom. I can forgive that. It does have a fold-out landing gear here at the front of the plane, and then it has kind of molded landing gears here on the, on the well, what would be the bottom of the shins. Then the guns can attach to the bottom of the figure through some peg holes on the side. So there's that hole there, and that screw hole there is where the guns fit in. And you effectively have these little runners that then act as rear landing gears. The overall look, whoop, I just popped that off by accident because my fingers are, my fingers are fat and ah, things are flying all over the place. Considering this is only the second figure that's a jet, it's by far my favorite. I like this much more than Eagle Robo, which is the leader one version of the figure. I'm just going to take these guns off. They have a tendency to pop off very, very easily. Overall, I think the SR-71 version of Blackbird Robo or mode is great. It's just an awesome, awesome looking figure. Now, both this and Cement Robo do come with stands. I'm not going to bother showing you them because, quite frankly, I don't like the stands. I think they're too floppy, but you can put a stand on him. 
it goes right here and allows him to, you know, be a flying plane and all that. If you're picking up this entire line, I would say Blackbird Robo needs to be towards the top of your list. It's simply a fantastic machine robo figure. It's a lot of fun, and it looks cool, and it's easy to transform. I would put this up with Battle Robo. I think, well, the one that's, you know, tank, the blue one. I would say he and Blackbird Robo are the best in the line. The other ones are okay, but definitely pick up Blackbird Robo if you can. And, oh, yeah, there's torso articulation. I forgot to mention that. Articulation-wise, ball joints in the shoulders, hinges in the elbows, head rotates. You saw the tor torso articulation, ball joint in the hip, swivel at the thigh, bend at the knee. So plenty of articulation for this fantastic figure. You should definitely pick up Blackbird Robo. So gang, thank you for watching this video review. As always, I am Bolt Matrix, asking you to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.